Hi! In this episode, I'm going to take a quick look at joining data to a layer. And since it's close to daylight savings time, I'm going to use that as an example. Links to all data I'm using will be in the descriptions below. I've hidden some attributes in this video, so if you use the same data, you will have a lot more columns to start with. My data is in a text file separated by tabs, so I use the Add Delimited Text Layer tool. I browse for my file and make sure I have Tab selected as delimiter. If the file has another delimiter, you can specify that here as well. Just make sure the table in the lower part of the dialog looks usable. Since the file doesn't contain any geometry, I also have to set that in the dialog. The table will be added to the layers list, but nothing will be visible in the map. No geometry, remember? When I compare the tables, it becomes obvious which columns match by changing the sort order. Now I can create my join for the world borders layer. I select the time zones table as join layer and country code as join field. This should be matched with the ISO 2 field. I choose to only add fields for time offset at 1st of January and 1st of July. And I customize the prefix for the joined fields. Now when I open the attribute table, the two joined fields are visible. In the next step, I'm going to use the new fields and compare the offset in winter and summer to find out if a country are using daylight savings time or not. I use a rule-based renderer and create a rule for if the two offsets are identical. This means no daylight savings time. Then I create two more rules that check if summertime is ahead or behind the winter time. I give these features different colors as well. And there you have it, a map for countries with daylight savings time. If your country is portrayed wrongly in this video, you can examine the data yourself, because data does not lie. Or does it? See you next time!